we're heading to the temptation mount where Jesus was tempted or tested by the devil. And here we are using the cable car, which is 23 to, uh, 223 meters below sea level. Guinness World World, world Record. You can see here we are already on the way and you can see here the ancient city of Jericho. The Tel Tel Jericho. They're talking about the most ancient city in the world. And we are climbing up and up and up and up and up and up. Down there it's a wheat mill. It used to be used by the power of water. But there's no wheat here anymore. Than this. this is from the 15th century. And we're gonna stop here for a minute. Then don't be afraid. Do people still climb? Sorry. We are we are stopping here for a minute. But but look upstairs. Can you see the caves? That were the caves that everyone that wanted to run away from the government used. One of them was Jesus. And we are climbing to see the Temptation Mount. And here we are moving again. All the way. It's around six minutes. And again, we are headed to the, to the Temptation Mount, to the monastery, to see where the devil tested Jesus. But the cable car is stopping at the shopping mall, and not at the Temptation, temptation we are, And we have to climb up 10 minutes, and it's quite steep, I must say. We just reached the top, and we will continue to the Temptation Mount. Is Jericho from uh, above. <laughs> we are on the way to the Temptation Mount, which is there, but you can see beautiful from here the caves. <laughs> and we are at the entrance to the monastery itself. <laughs> it is. That's a great view. It is. And still not the best one. That we are now already in the Temptation Monastery, but not in the most important part of it. We're heading to it. I wish that one day I will be able to be here for four days. And you can see a cave. Yeah, I can see a cave here. Oh yeah, take a picture without me. Oh, they're renovating it last. Mount of Temptation about Jericho. We use the cable car and then we climb all the way up. And if you did it, then for that, hooray! Hooray again, everyone, it's not obvious, it's not obvious. That everyone can do that. And last time, two of our family members decided to stay down there to drink um, oranges. You can see a cave, and we already talked about it. When Jesus was here, you can see a cave. Now we believe that there were two stories here because he was tested by the devil three times. But one of them was at the corner of the wall of Jerusalem, the eastern wall and the southern wall. And God told him, and God, the devil told him, John, if you, uh, you believe in God, he will catch you. And he said, I'm not going to this. Here, two of the three uh, things happened. In that came according to tradition. The devil came to him and said, All right, you're fasting, but if you look at those small stones, I can turn it into bread. But then he said, I'm not testing God. God will feed me. I don't need you for that. And later on, we'll enter to another cave inside a Greek Orthodox monastery. And that's where he saw the view of the Holy Land. And the devil came to him and said, Yeah, Paul, oh, everything that you see here, it's yours. Only if you will accept me. But he said, No. In that case, those stories are ancient stories. And from the 
fourth century, monks came to here. And Haritun was the first one to set here. This was his cave, sadly it's closed to us. It used to be open, but now it's not. And if it's okay with you, and if you're really, if, you're, if it's okay with you, let's go inside the church. But the cafe here, take it off. Because we enter into a church. I don't know how many times you visit a Greek Orthodox church. Not a lot. Alright, then let's talk about the Greek Orthodox church there. And you will understand the meaning of it. I hope that no one is actually praying there and then we can talk. First, let's go to the church. We're going to climb up to see the other cave, to see where the best view of, of the, the Holy Land. And then, if you're not afraid of heights, I will push you into a balcony, because that's going to be the best picture to take of Juno of Jericho. into the church itself right now, which is part of the okay, church and part of the king. Let's talk about the Greek Orthodox Church, but please come to me because I want you to understand that. A Greek Orthodox Church is the church itself, the second itself, is the, the structure itself is different. But if you will understand it now, you will understand every Greek Orthodox Church in the world. First of all, face it to the east, like any other church. Secondly, the disciples are standing. And it can, the uh, service can take more than two hours. The whole man is sitting. You can see he sits here. Now look at the wall of icons. The wall of icons will hide the Holy of the Holy, which is behind that, and us. It's reminding the keeper, the young God, the head of God, the Jews. The keeper will divide us from him. God is above us. We are praying straight to God. We don't need a priest for that. And uh, we are sinners. Um, the same is here. Wall of icons. Here it's for the disciple. The other side is for the priest. And the priest will do everything there. You won't see it. When we will get the holy bread, we'll be already after he was blessed by Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. Then let's look at the wall of icons. First of all, it's a beautiful art. Always, there's always a man enters. To the left of it, you can see Mary and the child. To the right of it, you will always see Jesus as the king of the world, the ruler of the world. Another one to the right is always an angel. And an angel is a messenger. John the Baptist is an angel. And in that case, how do you know that it's John the Baptist? Look at that. Remember that he was beheaded? And you can see the head of him. But the story of the church is always at the left part of it. Then let's go together to see the left part of the wall of Athens. And this is the story. Come closer if you want to see it. Jesus is standing, let's say, right there. And we're going to climb there. The devil is trying him. Mm -hmm. 
the angel is with him. Now, why there's two? It's actually a replica of it. The Greek Orthodox are blessing everything. Then, instead of destroying the original, they are kissing or touching that place. If it was, in, if it's in holy place, everything that you will touch with, for example, my my hand, now the holiness is moved here. The energy of the story is right here in my hand. Then, now we know a little bit of the Greek Orthodox Church. Beautiful. It's not art. It's a language. Because people didn't know how to read, that they knew the stories by reading it to tell it. I mean, the, the priest used to talk about it. Let's climb up. It's only a few steps. And let's go to see where the devil was tested him and keep the video rolling because it is something to talk about and to see. <laughs> You want to go? You can stay with us. Now we are actually climbing to the most important side of that church and monastery. You might see a little bit of the holy side from here. here was baptized once in your lifetime. To be baptized is to die and to be born again to Jesus. Look at that. He was crucified for us. He actually died for us. And there are two places that the way I can say that Jesus died. But that is the most important thing. That's where we believe Jesus was standing or sitting while he was watching the view, and you can see how beautiful the view is from the windows, but wait with that pictures, because you can take pictures in a better place. He was standing here by the devil, and the devil tested him. Tried him. Let me tell you another thing. Your churches might be more beautiful than our churches. But we have the story. And this is the most important thing. You are touching the story. You are part of that story. And that is the most important thing for me. And if you want to pray here, be my guest, although I know that you are not Greek Orthodox, but still it's a very important place. Now, what I'm going to do, take your time. I'm not in a rush anymore, because now we are not depending on any opening time, or opening hours. We will go out of the church. If you want to light some candles, be my guest, but I want you to go out to see the best view. And we will stay in. <laughs> uh, take your time. We are at the Temptation Mount, looking at Jericho. Uh, Jesus was here for 40 days and 40 nights, and he was tested by the devil. He was tried by the devil here. And uh, look how beautiful is the view from the Temptation Mount. one of the most beautiful viewpoints, although I must say I'm afraid a little bit. All right, then let's see what we can see from here. The Dead Sea, the mountains of Moab, today it's Jordan, here you can see it better. And Jericho is beneath us, but let's stand here. And I'm looking for the ancient city of Jericho. Here it is, right there, let me take it. Here it is. It's one of the most beautiful tools of Jericho, especially when it's, it's a bit cold here. Look at the valley. It's all a result of uh, flash floods, and you can see that it's a little bit wet because of it. They have a lot of water, then you can see a lot of reservoir water system. Here's one. One of them is right there. But you can see a lot. Every shiny thing is includes water, and they have an amazing variety of... Uh, food and agriculture.
the, the, mon the temptation uh, monasteries from the 80th century, but if it started as a place of um, meditation already from the 5th century. You can see the caves. That's how I want you to imagine that place before. Look at the caves. Think about Jesus meditating and he was fed by the animals and the birds. And now when you say that about the birds, you can understand it because it's so difficult to reach that place. <laughs> A little bit scary. The temptation month, Jericho, just before Christmas time, 2018.